Hello people and welcome to the hag. Oh, it's not just a hag. But well, I'm gonna walk up here and see what's blooming. Cause I think those little tulips are coming in. I think. It's very windy though. It's very windy. Windy, windy, windy. Oh, there's the red one. <coughs> there it is. Well, it's orange actually. Wow, that's really pretty. Look at that, huh? Very nice. Everything else is fading. Except, we still don't have any flower buds on the silver bells, but that will come. And then, here we go. I want to show these while we have a chance to show them. They're pink. Tall pink tulips. Come on, Cece. Don't knock them over. Okay, let's go where there's no wind then, because it's windy. <coughs> Go, guys all right no fighting no fighting hello welcome oh wow a little windy today but we're gonna try anyway we have some some violets and there's lots of them over here there's a whole sea of them right there under the apple tree hello Richard Adventures <coughs> Aldi's yes absolutely it's a German company I think they have good stuff What? What? What did you find? Did you find your glasses? No. Did you lose another pair? No, I lost my uh, hoodie zip up. Can't find it. You just came inside with it. I don't know. Is it on the bed? All right, find we'll it. find it. We'll find it. Let's go feed. <coughs> Whoops, Who watch it. it. Who'd you step on, Cece? I have no idea. Oh, come on, kitty, stay out of the way. Hello, oh, bouncer. Yeah, I know. This weather is sucking the life out of me today. The grass got really long though. Everything is really green. Which means I'm gonna have to get a lawnmower out. And I'm gonna have to open up the inner yard to the goats. But that's okay, they will like it. They will eat it in a few days and then I'll close them out again. And then I can, um, you know, every time it grows up, I'll just open the gate and let them back in for a few days. Hi, Noni. I see you, Noni. I see you, cutie. Well, at the very beginning of this thread, I showed a picture a couple minutes of, a couple seconds actually, of, I still have some tulips that are going to come into bloom, and they're tall, pink, narrow ones. And they're very pretty right now. Oh, Fatty Patrick's in the weeds using the potty. What are the rest of you guys doing? What are you guys doing? Wait, whoa, what was that? 
That was a big bird. That's it. Oh, dude. There are bir big birds in the woods chasing each other. Like, I don't know, crows or something? Can't, no, they might be owls. I think they're owls, dude. They're flying in the woods. You can't see them now, they flew. They kept, they're in the woods, like okay. right at the top of the understory. Yeah. And they kept landing and then taking off again and landing and taking off again. There were like three of them. Okay. What would that, that be? Like owls maybe or something? Yeah, I don't know. I couldn't, couldn't really tell what they were. That's what I found. What? No way. Another pair of glasses. Awesome. He found his glasses. Yay. Been looking all over for that. Yucky. I don't like beer. Beer is gross. I'm not a beer person. I'm just not a beer person. All right. Well, you guys not any more corn. Yeah, they should be about done with corn. They should just be on pellets and greens. They have more than enough Yes, corn. they do, and they're not eating it all the way, so. Hey, you know what? You didn't bring your greens down. Oh, I didn't finish picking them, actually. I could go get them and put some more in when I get down here. I'll go do that. Okay. Yeah, I could do that. I'll just wait. Hi, duckies. Hi, girls. Whatever's cheapest. Ew. Yucky. Blah, blah, blah. I remember those days, though, Bouncer. Keep one good six-pack in the fridge and then a case of whatever's cheapest. Because after the first couple, you don't taste them anyway. You know? Then you can get your drink on, you know? That was a long time ago, though. I haven't drank in... Oh, my God. It's been a long time. I don't really like alcohol. I guess I must have drank enough to make myself sick of it or something. It's not my thing anymore. I just can't. <laughs> <coughs> Hello, Mr. Guinea Man. There's the Guinea Man. Where's the barred rock? Is she hiding in the corner? She's going to pass away. Poor girl. Poor girl. Yeah, she's hiding out. You know what that means. You know what that means, dude. I mean, she's getting ready to die. She knows it. Poor thing. Oh, you got a big old basket of eggs there. Nice. Out of the way. Dude, you got, yeah, you got to move them or they will come out with you. I don't think you want that. Water. I'll bet the duckies would like some water to play with. You have a gallon right here of chloride on the seat. There you go. Yeah, I just had to make sure it was chloride. Okay. Poor Bard Rock. I feel bad for her, dude. She's just going to turn up belly up one of these days. That's we got to replace them. I know. Yeah, we got some replacement chickies today. What kind did you get? I think they're Brahmas or something. Brahmas? I'm not really a chicken person. There you go, duckies. Pool water. Yay! There go the duckies. Look at them. They can't wait to dive in. Check it out, dude. <laughs> They're funny. 
They're like, ooh, pool water, fresh pool water. We get to go swimming. Oh yeah, they're diving their heads in there. They'll be in there in a minute. Look at the drake is like, let me in first, I'm first. And you found one of your little pokey things, your stylus, yep. I you what are you doing with this over here? Oh. Never mind. You're not done yet. Okay. I was just wondering, you know. Proper job. I don't really get my drink anymore. I just mix like little stuff and experiment now. Ew, 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 ew. Bouncer says 31 eggs. Okay. She's still fresh, Hag. Take care, chat soon. All right, you too. Take care. We'll we'll be here. I guess we're gonna have to wait till we count them because I didn't count them. You didn't count them today? All right. Well, it'll be a surprise for all of us then. Yep. The Bard Rock's getting a drink. The duckies are flipping a coin over who gets to go first in the pool. I guess. I don't know, the female duck is looking this way. She wants to find out what you're doing. There's two ears. Man, I bet I can't. Re I couldn't repeat that rainbow thread if we tried. Man, that was amazing. It definitely needs to stop for a day or two. It's it rained last night again here. Not that we needed it or anything. Everything is solid mud. You know, I've been wanting to put a, a bale out for the girls forever here, and I can't. Luckily, the rain's bringing grass with it, or they wouldn't have anything to eat besides corn. But the grass is getting very tall. See the weeds? They're getting very tall. So. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of muddy here. I, muddy and windy. It's gusty. The wind is very gusty, so I'm not real, not real big on staying out in it too long, you know. Ooh, look at that. There's a lot of this. What do we call this stuff? Forget what you call this stuff right here. Um... Tip my tongue, but anyway, the goats really like that. Looks like we got a lot of that growing. It's some, it's like a, a sticker bush, but it's not stickery. It's just, it like clings to you. So, you know. I would imagine everybody is outdoors enjoying the nice weather, except gusty wind and muddy conditions are not... Oh! Oh! What are you doing out? The silver goat, and she's got all the babies with her, and they're all in the road eating grass. Way down, way down there. Oh, those little shits. Never doing that before. Yeah, I know. Too much rain means too much mold. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. I do not like moldy conditions. Ah, okay. What's that for? I'm gonna take this up there, I'm taking the eggs up oh, there, I gotta get those. Oh, a weed bucket, yes. Yeah, there ain't much weeds in there, I was just starting to pick. I was starting to weed out my little ginger garden area with the small rose in there. I want to be able to save that rose, so I figured I'd get some of that grass from around it. And I started picking the weeds and putting them in a bucket to bring down to the chickens, and I forgot the bucket. But I didn't really have all that much in there to begin with. So I figured I'd leave it there and start weeding again tomorrow, but I don't know if he's going to bring it down. I, mean, I can I guess I can feed it out. And my last tulips are starting to bloom. Um, they're narrow and pink tall narrow and pink and i don't know what the name of them is but they're very beautiful and you know it, 
cut a view of them at the beginning of this thread. And they're very pretty. And that'll be the last of that for the season. You know, nettle, that's what you call this stuff, nettle. I think you can make tea out of this and it does something. I think it's medicinal. I'm pretty sure actually that you can. I'm getting some of this, uh, what do you call it here? Got a lot of weeds here, man. Lots and lots of weeds. So I'm trying to grab these bigger leaves here and some clover and some dandelions. Look at that. Dandelions. Ooh, here's some more. Dandelions. Wait a minute. Don't close that up yet. Here. Tip this in there. Thank you. Oh yeah, okay. This is, yeah, I don't really know. It's the stuff that grows wild around here. It's just, we just call it nettle. And it's just, it sticks to your clothes when it gets mature. Actually, it does even now when it's short. There. The roots are really tiny. Like there's the root end. The goats really seem to like it. So I'm guessing it does have some kind of nutritional value. You know? Man, I'm having a hard time breathing today. Whew. We have a, a, a shrub right in front of us here. I can't think of the name of it. Um, elderberry, that's what it is. We have elderberry. That's starting to green up on top a little bit. We have nettles out everywhere. The goats like those. Yeah, the whole group of them was up by the... Yeah, it looks like dinkies out too. Yeah, I know. Little bastards. I don't want them to go that far. I wish they wouldn't go that far. It scares me that they're going to get grabbed by somebody. Yeah, the babies come out regardless. Come on, guys. Come and eat. One the gray goat, I know, Persephone. They're all following Persephone. Come on, guys. Out of the way, kitties. <laughs> Come and eat your corn. If you don't get here, you don't get none. Come on, kids. Doot, doot. Come on, guys. Where are my babies? Come on, my babies. They're not listening. There's all the big ladies. Hello, big ladies. Nancy's child stays with her, and the little dinkat stays with Dinky. Otherwise, the rest of them are very, very poorly disciplined. They do not listen to mommy. Come on, guys. Yeah, they're not all in here, but some of them are. They do not all listen to their mommies. Ooh, that sounds good. Hey, Mama Cookie. How are you? Come on, girls! Ladies! Dude, you let them all out! They're all out! There goes Dibs, Donna, Mammy, and all you guys brownie. Alright, I'll get her. Come on, get out of there. Patrick, you don't get none. You're not a corn baby. Go. I'll feed her. I'll feed her a little bit. Come on, Brownie. You want a little? Here. Here, baby girl. Here. Right there. There you go. Okay. Hang on, kids.
I gave Brownie a little pile. It's a big pile. All right, a couple handfuls, dude. Oh, look, she came in. And she brought most of them with her. I guess she was babysitting, huh? Were you babysitting? She did come in, though, dude. She saw you come down here with the corn and she came running. I did. Oh, God. Okay, yeah, they're getting really big, man. Babies are getting huge. They're growing fast. Got a lot of little stinkers out there. I did. I know, I see you. Whoa, careful. Don't choke. There's some babies over by the tank. Oh, they have figured out how to jump on the high tank. Now they can get way up there and do their dancing. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, uh. Hi, baby. All right, here with me. There we go. There's all the babies. We got one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We got twelve babies. I see all twelve right now. They're all here. They're all playing. There's Nancy. Man, everybody's got the poopers, it looks like. Hello, Almadine. Magic. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> that one almost fell. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! There we go. <laughs> Whoa! Up, down, up, down. Oh! Oh, Kaylee's baby is. Kaylee's baby was headbutting with Dinky's baby. You might want to let her in there if she, she probably, I don't know if she knows what she wants. Let's get the corn here. Did you have enough? Did you have enough? There you go, kiddo. There's the brownie. Okay. Hi, children. Hello, children. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Are you king of the tank? Are you? King of the tank, yeah. I'm coming. Hi, hey boys. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Yeah, they're hungry, dude. You know why? Because they don't have any hay to pick from. Their hay is pretty, pretty terrible. They don't have a lot of grass here. Hey boys. Oh, their, their water's full, okay. Their water's full. Holy moly, look at this. Oh. This is terrible, man. I had this all tacked up earlier.
Where's it stuck? Oh, it's stuck in that. Okay. That's all right. Hey, you. That's Kaylee's baby, the big tall one on top. There you go. That's Jinky. Hi, babies. Hello, my babies. Hello, ladies. Where are you going, Brownie? Hi, Noni. Hi, Donna. Hello, Donna. There's Donna. Hi, Donna. Keep your head in there, huh? Yeah, you're okay. You're gonna get hung. You're gonna hang yourself, Donna. There's a little baby eating corn. Boy, are they adorable. I wish some of them would stay that little and that cute and that inquisitive. The little one's not out yet, huh? Dinky's out. Dinky Doo is not. The Dinkat is somewhere else. Oh, they're all way out there already. Look at that, they're exiting the fence. There they go. Way out there. They're already out into the grass. Oh, there's Dinky. There's Dinky's baby. Dinky's baby and Yeah, who else left? Pretty much everybody else left. There's only like five of them here. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoops! Hey, Mammy. All right, come on. Don't hurt one another. It's a bone, dude. Really? You gonna feed them over there? In a minute, when I catch my breath. Okay. It's Donna and Noni and Mammy, huh? Hi, Mammy. Hello, Mammy. Oh, Mammy. Pretty Mammy. Hello, beautiful Mammy. Beautiful Mammy. You're so soft. You have very soft fur. Hello, Donna. Watch your fur. Watch your hot. Watch. Donna's going to get stuck. Donna, you're going to get stuck. Yes, you are. There's Noni. Hi, Noni. Hi, Noni. Hello, baby Noni. Little Noni. The third triplet. You are the third triplet. Don't bite me. Come on, don't bite. No biting. Hello, Mammy. All right, all right. Be nice. You guys are related, huh? Closely related. There goes all your fur. Your under fur is coming out. Yes, your under fur is coming out. Yes, it is. You're a beautiful goat. You're a beautiful girl. I don't have any corn for you. I do not. I do not have... What are you going up there for? I don't have any corn. You must wait. Hello, Donna. Oh, you want to eat my hair? Yeah, I don't think so. Don't eat my hair. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Tickle the goat belly. Tickle, tickle. Not ticklish, huh? Donna. Oh, Donna. Thank you, Donna. Oh, thank you, Donna. No, you cannot bite me. I will not allow the biting anymore. No more biting. Oh, look, it's Dinky's baby. Hello, Dinky's baby. Are you stuck? Uh-oh, Dinky's baby might be stuck. Did you get caught? Are you caught? Would you like some help? You want some help? Would you like some help? Here. Here you go. It's okay. Here you go. You're okay. I got gotcha. you. Don't do that, Mammy. That's not very nice. I uh, know, it's not very nice. Don't be flipping the babies. Hey, Kaylee, I think your baby's outside the fence. It's on the other side.
Better go look for mommy. There's mommy. Yep, she went in to see mommy. Better go find mommy before you get in trouble. There's your mommy right there. Brownie's your mommy, right? Hello, Brownie. Hey, Smiley. What up, Smiley? You got crap on your nose. Hello, Noni. Noni! Come on, watch your horns, man. You guys are going to hang yourselves. Ooh, a cardinal on the fence. Beautiful. We have lots of cardinals. Cool. What's up, Trump said? I haven't been paying attention here. Sensor tubes? Who else is in here? Oh, man. Whew. Uh, tell me what's going on, man. You okay? Who's calling? What's the problem? Was that one of the boys calling? Very strange, man. Oh, here we go. Come on, girls. Now we got babies sneaking out the fence. <laughs> There's all the little ones, some of the little ones. Yeah, most of them here they come. They're back around that building. Come on, guys. Hey, oh, oh. Hello, Almadine. I know, you're a good girl. Hello, Persephone. I'm coming. Look out, Mammy. Look out, Brownie. Ready? See you later, Donna. Oh, Donna. See you guys later. Yeah, we still got a group of babies outside the fence down there. Those little kids are gonna... I don't know, man. One of these days, one of them's gonna disappear. Ow. Well, they usually come in before it gets dark. Usually. At least I hope they always do. You know? Oh, my God. It's a little chilly out here in the wind, huh? Look out, guys. Yeah, they're going to guess how many eggs we got today. We didn't count them, so we have no idea yet. <coughs> but it looks like a good bunch. Okay, let me grab my weed bucket. Okay. Oh, God. I'm cheesed out. Really? Yes. Yeah. This weather. We need the wind to die down for the rain to put for a while, like a few days, you know? That would be nice. I gather a lot of the eastern and southern states are kind of flooded. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. That's no good. Yes, look out, kids. I know, you guys are hungry too. Hang on. Look out, guys. I smell lilacs. Oh, yeah, we have some lilacs. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh. Man. Man, oh, man. Okay. So. Uh, yeah. We had we had some rain last night again, and yesterday we had that really neat rainbow, right? Sure, you want to count them? Yeah. Okay. You can do the whole fucking thing if you want. You know I don't like nothing with lake. Three. 
four, five. You don't have to count them. When this oh, yeah. is full, there's 12. That's right, uh, I'm okay. There's one dozen. Okay. So you have 12. Yeah, the cats are going to want a couple of them. Cats ain't getting shit. Oh, what are we going to feed them then? They're going to learn to work for their food. Well, they do work for some of it, but I got a pregnant girl here. I don't... Whoa, be careful there. It's not my fault you got knocked up. Oh. Not my responsibility. <coughs> yes, it is. It's your cat. It's not my cat. It ain't mine. Yeah, it is. Okay. I don't feed it. I don't claim it. What is being mean now? There's 24. Okay. That makes 26. That's 28. Okay. That makes 30. 31. Bouncer, you were right on the money. Bouncer was right on the money. Okay. Bouncer said 31. Yes, he won. Yes. No, not at all. Don't worry, I'll figure it out. Here. <coughs> I got a parcel in there. Or maybe it's in the other fridge. There are no parcels. Yes, there's one in the other fridge. Go look, there are no parcels. I can't get past you right now, and I need to. Did you take it out of there today? You don't listen to me. No, not today. A couple days ago, and there's not one in there. Yes, there is. I put one in there. When? Yesterday. This is for the cat. This is for the icky, dirty ones that were old. All right, guys, I got some eggs. Tomorrow you got to work for a living. Yep, these have some mud and yuck on them. Okay. Whoops, that one didn't break. There you go. Good enough. 31, right on the, right on the button, Bouncer. Uh, you did it. Okay. Weirdo. Okay. Okay. I don't know, like 39 cents or 29 cents or something? No, they're more than that. Are they? Maybe a dollar? Be. I don't know, they're pretty nice. They're nylon, so. Well, we should price Anybody them. Anybody in chat know? We should price them so we can figure out. Because if we had like two or three of those, we would make some nice <laughs> potatoes. Bouncer says, two days in a row, the universe is mine. <laughs> right on, pinky in the brain. Oh, there's some Bouncer fungus. Bouncer the eggs. Look at that, we got mushrooms. You know what's sad? What? You know my edible? No. What's sad? There's some fungus. What's sad? I don't know, I forgot. Oh! That could have been a disaster. That's dumb. When there's not enough coppers in the penny to stop the tree root from growing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, last year we cut down some trees up front, some saplings, and pounded some pennies into the the you know, root things, so that they would not regrow, and they are regrowing. So there is not enough copper in a penny to stop them from regrowing, that's sad. So they're not made of real metal, what are they made of? I don't know, they're probably copper plated zinc. God, that's no good, right?
salt water solution might work, Trump said. Trump said, said. <laughs> I know copper sulfate works, but I don't have any. Pennies before 1984, Tommy says, are 97% copper. Well, Good to cool. know, yeah, for sure. I have a coffee can that's got probably a quarter of full of pennies, so we'll have to look through that. Find some older ones. Yeah, the newer shiny ones don't, they don't even look the right shade of copper, you know? They're strange. Well, the apple tree is still in bloom. I can still smell lilacs around the corner here. And. Yeah. And then make a. Not a Ford, but a. You know, then. Poured molten copper in them? Yeah. Well, you know. Melt it down, melt penny down. So my dad used to just take a big drill bit and he would drill down in the stump that he wanted to kill. Yeah, I know. And pour stuff in there. Yeah, I don't know what he poured. Sulfate. Probably. Yeah. So. Then you do the same thing with copper nails. Yeah. Because they sell Do we copper have copper nails? nails? No, we don't have any. Oh, we have to get some then. We have to buy them. Mmm. That would cost. How much are copper nails? A lot? Yeah, I think it's like $15 for 10 of them or something like that. Oh, jeez. Piece of copper pipe. I have some copper pipe. I hammered copper pipe into a couple of those. Yeah? Yeah. Well, some of them did die. Three quarter Just inch some copper didn't. pipe. Oh, okay. I, you not, didn't yeah, they didn't, they didn't all not die. Just some of them. Oh, okay. No, the one that I pulled the saplings off of, or the, the growth off of, had like a new penny okay. in its top. Alright. So, I'm thinking, you know, hey, Mama Gnome, what's going on? Yeah, Tommy, I got some copper pipe laying on here somewhere. I was going to actually make a garden something out of it, like an obelisk or, uh, I don't know, something. And uh, I never got, got around to it. Yeah, we've got three-eighths, half-inch. Yeah. We have a worm too, but I'm not going to sacrifice I'm that. I'm not using the worm. No. And I'm not using the. No, we the need to set up the still or the, one or of these the days. Three quarter inch pipe. We need to set up the still one of these days. Hey, Sci Fi Bri, what's going on? How are you? We just got done putting eggs away. 31 eggs today. That's it. Go go Is that a record? This year? Not yeah, that's a record this year. year. Goat poop soup you're making? Why don't you just make duck poop soup? You're gonna run around behind a duck and try to collect it? No, you use the duck's pool water and it's already done. You don't have a pool in there now. Sure. They use their drinking thing for a pool. Huh? They use that drinking tub for a pool. Yeah, I know. They swim in it and shit in it. I know. And it turns it into duck poop soup. It's it's awesome. <laughs> you wanted to do it being my guest. So I don't know. You don't have to do anything. You just put water in there and let them poop in it. What? No, then you gotta take it out and put in something oh, else. Oh, in a bucket? Something else. Yeah. yeah, I got a bucket right, that blue bucket. Well, you can do that, man. Right now, I, I might can't lift it. That's, I know. Well, pretty soon my last tulips will be done. And what comes next? I think iris. If I'm not mistaken. I think the iris will be in bloom next. Where did they put those drainage holes? At the very bottom of the bag or at the side? For what? The potatoes. The grommets, you mean? Yeah. The bottom. Okay. They were like staggered. Okay. You know? Just so it would drain evenly, you know? Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it worked out pretty good. I mean, in the UK, they use those all the time for growing potatoes, canvas bags or whatever, you know, like, but like you said, you can use shopping bags or whatever kind of bags you got. And as long as they have decent drainage, you can use them to grow potatoes. So I thought that might be, hey, Bertie P. I sent a link to Bryce's rugby, rugby game, game live on YouTube. Awesome, but there's no audio and it's hard to see who is who. Sweet though. Why don't you just paste it in the chat? So, 
case anybody wants to see it. I gotta go drop this off. What? Oh, go ahead. Yeah, I know. I feel pretty cheesed. I always feel pretty cheesed, though. No, some days are better than others. Today's just really windy. It's very gusty and windy, and uh, I don't know. It's just chilly enough to kind of get in your bones, you know? It's not too bad though, I guess. Could be worse. Could be below zero, could be snowing. You know? And it's not either of those, so that makes me happy. Oh, let's go check out my last tulips to bloom. They're almost, they're not open yet, but you can see what color they're going to be, and they're very beautiful. Look at that, right here. Look at that. Tall, narrow, pink. And there are three blooms here, and a little guy here. I don't know what this is going to be. This one looks like more, more orange. I thought those were pretty. Okay. Uh, get out of the wind tunnel. There we go. I to come out of the wind tunnel. So that's the last. Those will be the last, I think, the last tulips to bloom this year. Those will be kind of neat. Whoops. Oh. What a mailbox doors blown open. <laughs> Sweet. Leave it to Wisconsin. Thanks, Trump said. Yeah, they're they should turn out to be nice pink ones, pink narrow ones, kind of fancy. I'm not gonna post. The link because you have a dick cheese. Who is apparently obsessed with my underage son? Yeah. Yeah, that's true. He's obsessed with our family. It, it seems like it's the pedo. It's very strange, man. Very strange. I have never carved that much time out of my own life to make up shit about other people that I don't like. It just seems such a waste of time, you know. But you know how it is with yeah, some people. It's never their fault. Oh, Sci-Fi Bry, it's uh, Dave's not here. Let's just put it that way. Pedal, pedal. Well, what do you call somebody that asks an underage person if they, if they want you to their grab their genitals? And that's clearly what he says on the video. To me, that's a pedophile. You know, when you're of age, well of age, and eh, it is what it is, you know. <clears throat> we always try to open our home to help, you know, friends that, or people we think they're friends actually. You know, and we've had, I mean, we've never really had anything happen like that. You know, we've opened our home to people that need a, a short window of, you know, space to hang at so they can fix a vehicle or collect another paycheck or whatever they need to do, you know. And then they're usually off onto their next adventure in their life. And that's cool. And we've had, you know, we've never really had bad, anything bad happen, you know? And this time, man, wow. Wow. It just, you know, could have hang for a couple of months, turned into a couple of years, and, and then it just all went bad, all kinds of bad, you know? And, uh, Yeah, I know, Bouncer, it's, you know, you've heard the tape, you've seen the video. You know, and then he, like, he does such a 360 in that thing, it's like, like, round and round and round, you know. 
I find it funny when the guy knocks him down, when the kid knocks him down. Oh, yeah, the, the, says, the miner says, knocks him out? Yeah, yeah knocks him says, down, I'm, yeah. I surrender, I surrender. As soon as he gets back up, he starts talking shit. You're going to prison, Yeah, fucker. he goes, no, I'm not going to be scared anymore. But he is scared. Right. It's freaking bizarre. Trump it's says, extremely report, bizarre. Report, report. Birdie yeah. P says, absolutely, Trump. Got a good... Good cause and beautiful dogs. It's all good, Bouncer. Bouncer We're says, yes, I know too much. We're gonna right. We have a as the court date rolls around again. I'm I'm ready. It's just a matter of going back and having it re-upped for another whatever yeah, it is that's five. Not the I guess. Only surprise. What other surprises do we have? And there's some more. More surprises. Okay. Mm -hmm. I will let you be the keeper of surprises. I don't know, I'm just happy he's not here to harass anyone anymore. He's a stalker, a harasser, and a pedophile, apparently, and allegedly. I say this all allegedly. <laughs> Sci-fi Bry says, I'm glad yeah. I don't know a lot. Exactly, Bry, you are. It's, uh, yeah. It's, it's, it's too not anything you want your family to be exposed to, it's you know? It's too fucked up to even think about, Well, dude. you know, it, it, <laughs> what it does is, is it kind of colors the world bad for other people that, you know, you might be able to help, you know, like... You know, I don't want to think that of everyone. You know, like that someone else is going I'm to come here and take advantage of us. You know, of other people. No, but I mean, you know, I didn't think I didn't think he could be capable of those kind of things. You know. Yeah, well, you learn quick, I guess. Yeah. Well, not quick. No, it took, it took a us a time. while. Well, because I don't want to believe the worst of people. You know, and you know, he's doing, you know, like stalking some of our friends, and you know. I don't know. I guess our saving grace is that he's just on the intelligence scale. Not all that. Oh, we got a lot of. What were those? <laughs> a freeze dried skittle. <laughs> okay. Are those barn swallows that keep flying around here? I guess so. We got barn swallows flitting around. Birdie P, that's my beautiful daughter. She is something else. She is wonderful. She's a special human being, I gotta say. She's got a great family. I can't wait to see the boys, man. We've got some interesting sounding little woodpeckers out here, too. You hear him? Is that, what is that? Is that a swallow or? No, I don't think so. It's either a swallow or a woodpecker. Birdie says a special ed special. <laughs> oh my. I'm kind of like a special needs Jesus. <laughs> Alrighty then. Well, you know, the funny part is, is that, you know, we don't go and, you know, we don't, we, 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 we create our own content and use that. We need one that says, the raccoon keeps me safe at night. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we create and use our own content. We don't take other people's content and use it. And... We don't call the police on other people. On ourselves three times a Or night. on ourselves, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I, was, I don't know what that was, but I didn't call them. You know, when the power goes out, the first place I think to call is the power company, not the cops. No, you, know? you call the police. So, I, I don't know. That's just My power's kind of funny. Help me. I don't know. Anyway. Look, honored and humble day I set foot on your land. Dude, you will be welcome the day you set foot on our land, you know? Right. We welcome everybody. Everybody's, you know, we don't judge and, you know, everybody gets a shot to prove themselves, you know? And I don't hold any kind of pre anything about people, you know? And he's the first and only guy that's really, that, you know, 
I, I, I'm, I'm still kind of speechless, to be honest with you, Bird you know? says, they should have arrested the, the breaker, breaker box, box that day. Yeah, day. no <laughs> kidding. Google won't let me comment. About the 30 seconds of alone time he and I should have. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I always say and in those situations, Bouncer. Right, Bird? All I need is a dark alley and no witnesses. But I've said that about the crack for years. Release the Kraken! That'll never happen. I'm not sure we can fit her into an alley. <laughs> what did I do the other what? day? I have no idea why. Oh, yeah, it was... Uh, I came Eclipse? Out, no, I came no. out in... Uh, I came out to turn on something the and lights? it didn't go on. The break of blue, yeah. Oh, it oh. In the other garage, though. That, that day we had the power surge. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. Well, you know, we're out in the middle of BFE. We're having power, you know, brownouts and power surges happens every once in a while. It's just part and parcel of country everywhere. living, I guess, you know. <clears throat> it happened to me in Crystal Lake. It happened yeah. to me in Woodstock. It happened to me everywhere yes. I lived. Hey, when I lived in the city, it happened a couple times. You know, I don't mind witnesses. I'm a changeling. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. I just figure no witnesses, no chance of getting caught. Witnesses can usually can't identify you anyways if it happens real quick right don't worry dude i can't testify against you and they can't make me a minute or less eyewitness don't usually i wouldn't testify right. against you anyway i was gonna check the breaker box i'm just a dumb girl yeah that's what i do first you check the breaker mm -hmm. box and if that's not if there's nothing wrong there then you call the power company and let them know that you know you think you have a power outage and normally you reach a recording that says, you know. <laughs> You're 53rd in line. We yeah. Are yeah, we have uh, power, power outages out. in, and they name the counties, you know, or whatever, or the areas. Yeah, when the power out here gets whacked, it usually takes out a quite an area. <clears throat> it's like a long list of towns and, and outlying areas. I'm surprised though, I mean, the longest it's ever really been out, the power's been out around here, and this is like, during ice storms and everything, like, what, six hours maybe? No. Four hours? No, it's... Yeah, it's it hasn't out, been out for yeah, that long, really. it's been over really. a day. When? Years ago. When oh, that Bruce was, was okay, well, alive. that was years ago, but then that was once. But I mean, normally, within a few hours, they're back up. No, it, they're just, they're really good about, their linemen are out there and... No, before they weren't no. so good. Well, no, but they've hired more linemen. They've gotten yeah, bigger. I'm not gonna argue with you because you don't know what you're talking about. Dude. You're not the one who had to fire up the generator, switch over the electric, I know. do all that crap. It was me. Okay? So I never I wasn't even talking about that. That's what I'm talking about. It lasted more than a couple hours. I don't remember that. You don't. I know. You don't remember It was years ago. You don't remember the underwear you changed into either, so what? Oh God. Whatever. If you're gonna get I'm just telling Cranky you, again, you're mistaken. I'm leaving. You are mistaken. Fine, I am mistaken. I do not care. Do you think I care if I am mistaken? I Maybe. don't. You appear, to, you appear to be getting upset about it. No, you are. Eat my boogers. Eat your own boogers. No, they're gross. What makes you think I want them? Well, I kind of hope you don't. I don't. Good. I would hate to have a wife that's a booger eater. No. Never gonna happen. What's up, Happy What's Joy happening? Joy? Happy. How are the ruse over your way? I actually identify as a man that identifies as a man. If it's bouncer, it's hard telling. That doesn't understand grammar or pronouns. Or pronoun. Yeah, I said that yesterday. <laughs> Feel the, Feel the love. love, yep. Right on, happy. Birdie says, happy hello. Mm-hmm. I happy am. Happy joy, joy. Yes. Happy, happy Good joy, day. joy, Happy, happy joy, joy. You never heard that? Yes, I've heard it. Okay. I don't need a long and explanation. I've heard I it I don't before. have an explanation. Good. I'm just asking if you heard it. I've heard it too, but I don't, can't explain it. I can only explain happy joy, joy. Australia. I still have a headache. Hey, look, there's a sliver of moon up there, just a little one. Yeah, well, look at that evergreen tree. 
Look at the crap growing out of it. I don't know what that what? is. What? That's a grapevine. That's a grapevine. Yeah? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, there's a grapevine going into that one. And it's probably reaching up there to see if I can't get out and get some sunlight. Walter says, what was that noise? I think it was hag creeping. No, it was a truck going by. Truck Have with a said, small... A truck with a... with a... lacking a muffler or something. Hey, kitty. He's snorkeling up the eggshells to see if we missed anything. Karen oh. says, hi, Hag. Hello. I don't know what else they're eating, but they seem quite satisfied. I don't know what they're eating either. I didn't give them anything. Well, there's still things on the pile down there, and there were some deer legs down here before no, you burnt them. I burnt them. I know. I should have left bones. those two furry ones up here because it could have gotten the marrow out of that. It sounded like a boat motor driven scooter. Maybe it was early Kyler. <laughs> early Kyler. Or Rusty. Could have been either one. I don't think it was the sheriff, but. Truck boat truck. Yep. Early Kyler in his truck boat truck. Yeah, look how long the grass is getting. It's almost time to let the goats out in there. Right. If we let them in there for like two or three days, they clean it out and they can lock it back up and let it grow back again. Right. We could do that. I know. As that soon way, as it dries up a little, yeah. I want to move those hay things and I don't want to bring the, the, the tractor in there. The only thing and, I'm worried about is if I open this gate to this yard right here, they're going to destroy your garlic bed. No, they won't eat garlic. No, but they'll get up in there and lay on it. No, they won't. Tear it mess up. With, yeah, they, they never will. did before. Okay. But we'll see. We can always make a tent Bouncer over it. Has a musical you know? truck. We can always make a tent yeah. over it so that they take, can't jump up on you it. You take my poles and put them in the corners too. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. And then throw some screening over it or something just so right. they don't mess with it. Wrap the thing a three foot chicken wire around uh, it. And yeah. Boom. Something like that. They won't mess with it. Something like that. That's what I'm thinking. Just in case. Seeing if I had some geese, I could put the geese in there with the garlic, and the geese would do all the weeding, and leave the garlic. Yeah, we'd be all set. Well, I don't want to get chased around by geese. So what do we have for dinner tonight, pizza, well, right? you were worried about being chased around by turkeys, too. And yeah, they never like, did. They, they were good turkeys. Body, they turned so. into my pots until they yeah. got eaten by owls, big owls. Bouncer says, Emma must have passed out from the farts. <laughs> Maybe, <laughs> Bouncer. That's a good possibility. Cheddar farts. Dorito farts. Okay, so for the potatoes... Two or three potatoes did you guys per bag. Get chickens today? Yeah, bird. I shouldn't have, but I did. I couldn't. How many did you get? Nine. I couldn't oh, walk out of there without buying the chickens, even though I couldn't afford it. My, nine Brahmas. Yeah, we got nine Brahmas and then a bag of uh, chicken, chicken starter, medicated chicken starter. They're in the basement yep. right now, in their little starter cages. I'll put some pictures up on the community page. They got their little pen feathers on. They're looking like kind of ugly at this point. No, they're looking actually pretty good. They yeah. got their wings are feathered. Nice. And they've got a bunch of pin pen feathers. So, That's why they're yeah, on but sale. They're, they're not like they don't like baby chicks. Like, no. People like to buy them when they're right. baby chicks and they're cute, yeah, they're floppy, not cute right? And fuzzy. That's why they're they're cheap. Cheap, right? Cheap, 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 cheap. Yeah, I'll put some pictures on the community page. It's the best time to get them though, because I don't care what they look they're like They're inside under heat light still. Yes. I got to put them in another place outside. I can't raise them in the chicken coop because the other chickens will attack them and kill them. Right. So. Could always fix that chicken tractor we have in there. That's not a chicken tractor. That's a quail pen. Oh, yeah, that's right. We could I build another put, chicken tractor. I want to put quail in it again. We could build another chicken tractor. Yes, we could. 
but we don't have any wood to build one in. Chicken mm -hmm. tractor. Might. Bouncer says they are chickens, not teddy bears, Hag. That's true. That's why we don't care what they look like when they're little, because we only want them for egg laying, so. You know. Tyler was talking about quail. They reproduce fast. Yeah, they yes. do, bird. Yes, they do. Um, 17 days to hatch. Quail hatch in 17 days. And their eggs are highly nutritious, as we all know. You like the 1950 aqua appliance color? Uh, I'm lost on that one, Tommy. I told him you're able to actually ship quail eggs, right, yes. birds? Yeah, we can ship quail yeah, eggs. Yeah, quail eggs can be shipped. Regular chicken eggs, you can't. They're I bought too a big and heavy. Yeah, I bought a whole bunch of egg cartons a long time ago for quail. Uh huh. We Tommy haven't had any problem. A popcorn popper. Oh. Oh. Shit, I don't care what the popcorn popper looks like. I'll take one that's like... Oh, an air popper? Yeah, I'll take one that's like half dirty from a... Fire engine red. I don't care. We don't care. Yeah, I don't care what color it is. It doesn't have to Second match hand anything. store, whatever color they got, man. Dent and scratch, for. man. Right? Dent and scratch sale. We're not picky at all. Yeah. Man. I just remember having an air popper, and I remember I seldom got burned on it. And it made a lot of good popcorn. I don't know that oil popper burns the shit out of well, me. Well, look at your latest burns. Those are pretty good. Those are, those are pretty... This is compliments of an oil popper. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it makes good popcorn. It's just a pain in the butt. It's hot and it burns you. That's Very hot. That's because the way it's hooked up with Very that hot. Lexan top. And then the, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then the oil drips down on you. Bouncer says popcorn popper happiness. Yeah, the chickens would love it, man. You gave them a bunch of leftover stuff the other day. They were. I popped them. You popped three, them popcorn, yeah. yeah three things. <laughs> Tom says, I threw one out not too long ago. Now I regret it. It melted butter, too. Damn, Tommy. Um. That would have been awesome, dude. Well, yeah. <clears throat> I've been looking for like the last, I don't know, eight months or so. At the second hand I mean, store, can, and yeah, I never see one. We can find them at like they've got the oil stores, ones. but they're, they're yeah, kind they're of like expensive 20 now. Damn yeah, I don't want to pay full one. price for one. I'm cheap that way. Don't have the money. <laughs> Not that I'm cheap, it's that I don't have the money. <laughs> and the stuff wears out real fast, it seems like. Look. Oh, God, yeah. yeah. We had that air fryer for what? Two months? Maybe. If that, and it cheesed out. <laughs> Well, it all depends. I mean, it seems to me like, you know, as time goes on, they just, they make things so crappy now. Everything they use is just cheap. Bouncer Nothing says, stays I'm together. addicted to various types of popcorn. Even. I can't eat popcorn even myself. Even mix seasoning. But Psyche yeah. loves popcorn. She eats it. I oh used my God, to, uh, she eat a lot of popcorn. But it's good for you. It's better than. Quite one of the best oh. snacks to eat, right? Bouncer, I used to make the Czech stuff too, with the re with rice, wheat, and uh, corn checks. But I didn't put any of the other stuff in the mix because oh, I, did. I, I don't have any teeth. Pretzels, peanuts. Yeah, and how, how do you eat that? Well, I used to have teeth. I'm not talking about used. I'm talking about now. Well, now I add extra melted butter make it soft it's right greasy and it's really delicious that Tommy way. says yours is coming next week what's coming next week Tom and <sighs> oh man I told you that man. it's contagious a popper oh, stop that sweet awesome Thank dude you. thanks man excellent thank you so much the chickens will love you to death. The yes, more they will. butter, the better. Chex mix is God's food. <laughs> I like rice chex myself. I like rice, corn, and wheat. I like them all. I like the rice. It's my favorite one. Bird says, damn it, old guy and Jody. I know. <sighs> you made me yawn. And now he's over here yawning, and now I'm yawning. That's because my, uh. Ow, my neck hurts. My oxygen saturation so damn low with my blood pressure and all that. Mine crap, probably man. is no, is too right now. My body's just messed up. Yeah, well, at least 
there's talk of getting you back to where you were. <sighs> we'll see how that pans out. I'm skeptical, but yes, the checks anything could and happen. nothing else. Yeah, I do the checks, the whatever sauce it is. I forget oh, what it is. Um, I used to also put those little fish crackers in there sometimes. Oh, the, gross. The, what do you call them? Not, I don't not know. the cheese ones. Not though. eating any fish crackers. Yeah, they're little, they don't taste like fish. They're shaped like fish. I know, and I crackers. ain't eating them. Kim knows what I'm talking about. Kim says Worcestershire sauce. Exactly, Bird. Yeah, Worcestershire that sauce. So that salt, pepper. salt butter, and pepper, the Chex a little bit of pepper. Mix. Touch. No pepper. You don't like pepper? No. Okay, well, hold on the salt till you get to hold back a little bit on the salt. Birdie says I have zero, zero clue how to spell it. That's there's a recipe That's my for favorite it. On, part. I think the recipe for it is on the back of the check. I think mix it's box. W O bird, not W U. Worcestershire, yeah. yeah. W O. But I know what you meant, so it doesn't matter. Birdie P is the saucy gal. W O R C E S T E R S H I R E. Okay. I think it's spelled really weird. Anyway. That's fantastic. Um, I think the recipe for the Chex Mix is on the back or the side of the Chex Mix box, the Chex, or the Yay! Chex cereal box. Birds has mission so, accomplished. Yeah. Ugh. Oh, man. There goes Cece, the cardinal killer. Oh, man, that's what I was going to do today, and I forgot all about what? it. What? I was going to take the gas can and get some gas. For the truck? No. No, the tractor. For Bob. For the mower, for all that stuff. Yeah, my push mower. My little push mower. I got two mowers. I don't want to cut the inner yard here, just the pathways. <laughs> oh, God, I am so tired, man. Spell checks. Spell... Spell check works occasionally, yes. But Worcestershire is spelled very strangely. And he's still yawning over there. It's crazy. Hi ho, hi ho. The Brahma chickens are old. <coughs> Maybe I'll do it short on the chickens. I don't know. Oh, yeah, you could do a short on the Brahmas and then post it. That would be cool. All right, well, I'm going to say goodnight. Sponsor says Worcestershire sauce. Yeah. Birdie P says, I can't even say it. Tyler knows what I mean when I start saying a bunch of woo, 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 shire <laughs> sauce. Spell check works occasionally. Yes. <laughs> well, I'm going to head in. Why do we always talk about food? We are starving, master. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thanks for joining us. Bye, guys. I'm going to head in and sit my happy ass down. Love you all. Thanks for your continued support. We really appreciate all <laughs> you guys. Tommy says, wash your sister sauce. All right. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, I'm going to remember that. <laughs> yeah, Bert will be able to say that one. Everyone's saying good night, Hag, so good night. <laughs> Man. Sounds like a, a fun, cold winter night. It's really strange. It got cool here really quick. I couldn't find my uh, I couldn't find my hoodie, so I had to put on an old jacket that doesn't zip up. I'm glad I didn't burn it. Birdie says I'm still laughing at that. Oh, you're laughing at what, Bird? Yeah, to uh, watch my sister. Or, no, let me say that right. Wash your sister sauce. It should be easier for you to say, though, Bird. I know it's easier for me to say. And I don't have any teeth, so. Uh, 
Does anybody know how much these bags at uh, these stupid bags at all these costs? Any idea? Got cold really quick too. I hear you happy. It's getting strange out here, ain't it? You want to say a dollar? All right, that's cool. I'm going to grow red potatoes in these things, bird. I've got uh, I've got some grommets for my grommet kit. I've got some screening, and I can put drainage holes in that. And I want to I want to use that to grow the potatoes this year. I bought a bunch of them once and lost them. I hear you, bird. I gotta find my uh, um, I gotta find the burlap that I have for sprouting seeds that I use to sprout the seeds for mash, so I can start sprouting some corn. Get that sprouted up, cause uh, if you sprout the corn, that'll release the sugars. It is indeed road. They are really screwing with the weather this year. Yeah, they are happy. Bouncer says, I have plenty of bags, but seeds are rare. Oh, I got seeds I can share, Bouncer. I've got, uh, I've got some alfalfa. And, uh, God, I can't remember what the name of the other, I think the other is radish seeds. I have a bunch of radish seeds. It's really strange, because... The alfalfa is small, but the radish is even smaller. But they're round seeds. Really weird. <sighs> I got to make a nice fire so I can boil. I got to wax and dye these traps. It's 57 here and feels like 30 degrees to me. Yeah, I don't even know what the temperature is, bird, but it feels cold here. Bouncer says, I have beans, peas, radish, and three types of lettuce. We never, uh, we never, uh, are able to grow lettuce here. Just doesn't grow. Bird says, do you need more traps? I don't know if I need more bird, but if I had more, I'd prep them. I mean, I haven't log line trap in a long time, man. But I have a, I probably have 10 pounds of logwood dye still, and I probably got 20 pounds of wax for the trap. So you have a shit ton of Damien's traps. Sweet. What kind are they, bird? Are they no loss? Are they, uh, are they coil springs? Are they long springs instead of this? Are they long springs with a long spring? Um, are they instant kill kind of bears? I mean, whatever. I mean. Yeah, I haven't. Uh, that's only a small amount of the traps I have. There's a whole bunch more. I just don't know where they're at right now. <sighs> Collector Chronicles is live. He moved back to Missouri from up here. Couldn't tell you. There's a variety of them. I believe they are in a box in my backyard. Was just gonna junk them. Don't junk them, bird. Traps are expensive now. I think I got these for like they were like three fifty brand new. It's a one and a half Victor. Um, and uh, last time I looked at them, they were like seven fifty for a trap. Man, unbelievable, crazy. I'd never pay that much for a trap. All my pan pressures are set. Yeah, the air bounce are real expensive. Don't junk them, bird. See, like this one, this one's shot. It needs repair, it needs a new trap pan. There's no trap pan on this. It's missing. See? The trap pan belongs right here. 
like this. It should look like, like this. They step on this, it releases the dog, and the trap snaps shut and catches their leg. And contrary to popular belief, it doesn't do any damage and cut their leg off or anything else. <clears throat> it just holds them securely. I released a lot of things out of traps. You just can't leave them in there for two or three days and expect them to come out unhurt. If you get them within a few hours, they're fine. I can't quit yawning. Oh. I'm whining like a little bitch. My back's killing me. My neck's killing me. It sucks. Should have a good crop of raspberries this year. This is all raspberry in here. What the hell? All oh, these raspberries pulled this tree down. Unbelievable. Never seen that before. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. But right down there is a tree and it's just completely bent over. These raspberry bushes are pulling it down. Here's the tree right here. Here's the top of it. I have never seen that before. The tree's still alive, it has buds, just being pulled down by that. Freaky. Oh man, Hag's uh, lilac bushes blossoming, I didn't know that. I don't come out here a lot. pounder and pound that in more. Oh, the welcome sign. What the hell? The wind. The wind turned this one around. Oh, come on. There we go. <laughs> Fresh eggs pointing to the graveyard. That was not beneficial at all. I wonder if I could take some of those blue plastic drums, cut them off, drill holes in them, put screen, put uh, compost in there, and then uh, grow potato potatoes in there. I wonder if it would be worth it instead of growing them in bags. Because I have like one, two, three, I have like five of them that you can't remove the tops, you just have to cut it off. Um, and they're not really doing anything. I could put them to use that way. I'm thinking about maybe giving that a go. Instead of bags, use some of them. All right, we got that closed down. I have a ton of window screen, Tommy, if you need any. I mean, a ton. I probably got close to a thousand pounds of window screening, nylon window screening. So, if you need any for like 
go on any chicken coops or anything else and use real thin screening like that I've got a lot of sheets that are like three by ten I'd say maybe three by twelve I'd have to measure them to be sure but they're at least three by eight if not bigger door down hopefully it won't rain tonight and we can move hay tomorrow that would be awesome and maybe I can uh, I think I might try cutting some of those barrels off and growing uh, potatoes in them just for the hell of it. And I was able to get uh, those red, those organic red potatoes to start. They started real good. So uh, I, uh, I usually just leave all the eyes on them that grow. But uh, I started following this one guy who did it. Uh, grew them in bags and he took everything off except for one eye he left one eye growing on him so i did the same thing just to see if uh what's going to shake out if it doesn't work out on these i'll leave a whole bunch of eyes on the next one but supposedly only having one one main plant grow off of it is supposed to be the way to go i don't know not much of not very good at growing things in the dirt, but the only thing I've ever been successful at growing has been cannabis, so. This is kind of a new adventure. And the winds, I'm screwed on the wind again today for deer, so I don't think I'm gonna get anything. Adjust Your Focus got some killer deer picks the other day. I'm never going to get pictures as good as she does. I've been trying for years now. It just ain't going to happen. Unless I hang out in the barn and wait for him to come up and hang out with the goats. Which happens every once in a while. Then I have to take all these. I have to take and clean the skulls off. I still have to set Pinner's skull out to be cleaned up. I have Stinky's skull done. It's clean. I have another female over here that I need to do. And then uh, that male belongs to uh, Cole. So I have to finish that one for Cole. Uh, I should walk down it. Just for the hell of it. Let's go down here. Oh man, I've been missing chat. Lettuce need to be started earlier than most goodies. Couldn't tell you there's a wide variety, okay? They're in a big ass crate. Heavy fucker needs two people to move it. I'll bring them with. I kept them for a reason, but we don't hunt here. Got nowhere to hunt. I'll telegram you a pic of one or two of the traps we'll have inside so they don't get ruined for Bryce. Sweet. Acid bathe the old traps. Yeah, I use Santa flush, then I throw them out to rust, and then uh, after they rust, I hit them with logwood dye, and after the logwood dye, I wax them. Never use citric acid. They're extremely rusted. Yeah, they clean up with Santa Flush. It works really quick, Bird. I've done my traps with Santa Flush forever and ever. I've never had any issues with it. Kind of cool, though. It's almost time to teach the cats that weed whips are bad. More than that, have you seen what's in the grain bin? Oh yeah, bird. It's filled, the grain buildings are full. 
And then I've got uh, this one garage, half the attic's full. Wait, that might not be screen, I don't know. Yeah, it is, Bert, it's screen. Barrels make great strawberry gardens, multiple ho holes. Birdie says the tractor needs air. Yeah, it does, Bird. Bouncer says tomatoes as well. Tommy says my potatoes are starting to emerge from the good earth, unless it's a weed in the potatoes now. Bird says I want to grow tomatoes. Bouncer says I want to grow a bigger, oh, never mind. <laughs> Not me, Bouncer. This little dick got me three kids in a whole lot of trouble. I'd hate to see what would have happened to me with a big one. I'd have been in real trouble. One little goat. There you are, you weird goat. You're weird. And that cat just can't stay where it needs to be. It's got to come mess with me. One, and this one's got to come mess around. And there's the Tigenberg up there. All right, take care, bird. Peace out. I'm going to be done myself here pretty soon. I got a bunch of crap I still have to do. Ah. That's uh, Kaylee's child. That thing's getting really big. Bouncer says I'd probably have 60 kids and live in a shoe. <laughs> right, Bouncer? I probably, yeah. That would have probably happened to me too. I'd probably be, I'd be like my brother-in-law, my ex-brother-in-law. He can't go out of the state of Kentucky because he's wanted for child support in every other state. And if he ever goes to Wisconsin, Michigan, or Minnesota again, he's getting locked down and never getting out. And all, the, all of his kids, male and female, except for one, were named Shelby. I only know one that wasn't. My cookie. It's cookie. Hello, cookie. Hello, brownie. Hello, brownie. Hello, brownie. No eating my hand, brownie. No eating my hand. Be no eating my hand. You guys need a salt block, don't ya? Hey, hub. You must love the car. Bouncer, he was, he was uh, all over the United States. I think the only place he can go besides Kentucky, honestly, is Hawaii. I know he can't go to Alaska either. I think he can still go to Hawaii. I don't think he uh, made any kids there. But I won't swear that he didn't. I don't know for sure, I'm just guessing. Ah, having a little fight there, are you? Uh, well, we've made it through another day. And today, I don't know what today is. If today's Wednesday or Friday. I can't keep up with the days. Personal space argument? <laughs> okay, Bouncer. Uh, I'm gonna go 
see what kind of uh it's friday sweet i can get a lot of crap done tomorrow today's friday cages I have and then uh, figure out if I'm going to make another chicken tractor or not this one I can put that on top of there or I could plywood at first I could use some of that plywood I got from downtown Tommy Brown and then put the metal on top of that that's a possibility Oh, we got this cage too. We can put them in there. I just got to clean the leaves out. All right, put them in this other one. Same thing. I still have to clean the leaves out of this, so. Yep, yep. Uh, oh, yeah, lawnmower. I got to get gas for that. I looked at that yesterday. <sighs> oh yeah that's all that I have to get this aspen down to the compost bin so it will start composting already it's sitting out here in the bags and the bags are protecting it from composting down oh that one's going to fall pretty soon see it hanging there I don't want to stand here. That thing's going to come down and hit me in the head, probably. Make me stupider than I already am. Morel mushroom should be easy to find there right now. Yeah, I'm going to check it tomorrow, Bouncer. I didn't do... I did a little running around today. I had to go get dumb guy's toilet paper. And then uh, I went to... Uh, to go get the baby chicks that were on sale because I couldn't pass that up because uh, all the chickens that got slaughtered so that'll bring my chicken count back up out of nine of them I should at least five of them should grow up to maturity without any problem but time will tell and uh My blood pressure is all tweaked out, so I'm not really feeling it today. My blood pressure was like 185 over 97, I think, something like that. And that was before I started moving around, so it's probably higher than that now. Hopefully tomorrow it will be better. Hey, Gray Wolf, awesome. Thanks for being a member. I really need to make some new uh, stuff for the member stuff too but I gotta put a computer back together first yeah you've been here a year dude that's awesome man Got some old time people here and some new ones and haven't seen any new ones in a while. Have picked up a few new subs though lately. Oh Polly, what are you doing, Polly? Heg's got our strawberries planted in front of the garage. They're just growing loose. Maybe this year, uh Maybe this year we will do some in uh, barrels. I tried making a composter out of one of these barrels, and uh, it works, but psh, it's easier just to leave it on the ground and let it compost. I, am. I had like four of these composters, and they just... Uh, they did not do a very good job of 
composting, so I quit using them. But that's what they look like. And then I had the other piece I cut out. It took two of these to make one composter. Uh, I need to see what's in this. Oh, oh yeah. Beautiful. I found some uh, salt. The goats will love this. This will be for tomorrow. It's white salt, though. It's a regular salt. It's not mineral salt. But this is still better than no salt. Oh, move, kitty. Hey, uh, kick on. I'll just carry the whole thing down there. Throw some over the top. I don't want to give them too much because it's not mineral salt. It's just plain old salt. Now I'll take the rest out to the deer. Come on, let's go wild for the salt, guys. You guys can have mineral salt next. Right now, it's just plain salt. It's what I have. And they seem to be happy with it. Go put the rest of this away. Hey, kitty. Hey, there's a deer. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but there it is. It's a little too dark. It just went in the woods. Bouncer says the water intake will go up. Yeah, it will, Bouncer. But I'm treating them right now with preventative amproilium, known as Corid, just to make sure that uh, they don't get coccidia from the birds flying around, crapping in the water. <coughs> so I don't mind the water intake being bumped. That was only one deer, so. I'm surprised I seen that. My son's pulling right back into that area. Oh, I see another one back there. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. Oh, it's kind of just like a black dot right there. Probably too grainy to see it, but it's definitely not the pictures that uh, adjust your focus gets it. You see a crouching Sasquatch? It's actually a standing deer bouncer. It looks like. <laughs> It definitely looks like it could be a Sasquatch from the graininess in the camera, but trust me, it's a white-tailed deer. Just standing there grazing. It's filling up on alfalfa. There's that. There's a dumb cat. 
Oh, look, it's even pixelated. The zoom even pixelates the stuff up close. That sucks. Okay, well, since you guys can't really see this. Yeah, I'm sure a deer is better, Bouncer. I don't really want to be attacked by a Sasquatch. There's two deer out there that I can't see because it's getting too dark. I mean, the moon's out. The camera's picking up a lot of light, but it's actually pretty dark. Um, we'll go drop this off, and when we're dropping this off, we'll turn the chicken light off. The downtown Tommy Brown light is on. So we'll have to turn this off too. They don't need the extra. They don't need the extra sunlight at night. Here we go. It's downtown Tommy Brown light. There it goes, it's out. Where's the Velcro? There we go. And that's how dark it actually is out. Right here. But the camera gathers light, so. <clears throat> go back out into the light. Well, it's 10 minutes to eight my way. Mama Cookie says all I saw was a dark spot. Yeah, this camera sucks, Mama Cookie. The deer was probably a good 50 yards out. And this camera don't really zoom, so. But. I just have to concede that adjust your focus gets killer deer pictures. Uh, she's able to almost walk right up on them. <clears throat> the devices are made to do that on purpose. Yeah, whenever I use any type of zoom bouncer, it like just tears it up man it pixelates the hell out of it I can't even blame it on the internet hey zebra what's happening You guys probably can't see that either. There's two deer out there in the field too. But this camera isn't good enough, I guess. Uh. You had six 166 knocking you forget I lurk and watch your channel all the time 666 exactly I'm creepy like that Yeah, when she said earlier, Bouncer, that was the clue. Parasola sent me a screenshot of it, so of course I had to take one, right? I know I was lurking, Zebra. Man. I'll take these out tomorrow, I guess. That's got to go back up through the screen. Oh, man. Oh, God, that's big. No one. 
One's off. I can put chickens in here too, I guess. There's another tote. Oh, that was cut up for a house. All right. That makes sense. Uh, it's almost time to lose light, guys. I almost have everything set up in my living room. Now bedroom, the way I want it. Uh-oh, bouncer. My item numbers are all 667 at the antique shop. <laughs> All right, people, I'm going to go and uh, I think I'm going to call this. I'm going to go in and feed the, the new baby chickens. Maybe snap a couple pictures. I don't know. Maybe I'll do a short. Can't make up my mind, but. And then I'll post them to the community page. Bouncer says one better than the devil. Zebra says I've still got a, some walls to scrub and decorating to do. But the big stuff is where I want everything. Oh my. Alright everyone, take care. Thanks for coming to the most boring live stream ever on YouTube today. And uh, hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. And we'll be able to move some hay and do some other crap that the rain has been preventing us from doing. So take care, everyone. Zebra should be live at 8. That's when they usually go live. All right, take care, everyone. Peace. Me and Hag, we're out of here.